so now let's just allow the admin to log in with firebase authentication okay that we will authenticate the admin so for that purpose first of all we need to simply go to our login screen and go to the firebase console click on authentication okay and inside the authentication you have to simply click here on this add user so we have to add the email and password for the admin so let's say admin add admin1 at the rate gmail.com okay admin1 at the rate gmail.com or you can simply say let's say if you have your own custom uh, website where you have your own custom email system for example let's say admin1 at the rate let's say your app name is uh, food app so we can say admin1 at the rate food app dot com okay and then your password let's say and then click add user okay admin1 at the rate food app dot com so just like we add the admin email and password in the authentication we can add that in the firestore database as well so that any user or any seller or any rider will not be allowed to log in in the web portal okay because the web portal is only for the admins okay we will add that condition of course we will implement that we will check that only admin will be allowed admins will be allowed and not the other users so for that purpose let's start a new collection by simply clicking here on the start collection button and then we can give it name as admins okay then click next and we have our document ID so we will provide here the UID of the admin now how we can get that well simply go to the console okay food panda and go to the authentication the admin which we just created this one okay this one is the UID you can simply click here and it will copy the UID okay this one for the admin one so we can simply paste that here just like this so that we can recognize that specific admin and then the field of course will be let's say the admin email which will be of string type and it will be the email which we have used here okay admin1 at the red food app dot com admin1 at the red food app dot com okay let's say if that admin has some specific f uh, name then you can add another field by clicking this add field and simply write here name and that admin name let's say admin1 okay or let's say any uh, name like for example let's say the admin name is Michael okay Michael admin1 so any name okay which this admin has okay so email and name which is our first admin so we will simply click on save and here you can see admins collection has been created we have our first admin which is admin1 at the redfoodapp.com and this is the name of the admin1 which is Michael and this admin simply means the company owners okay the company who is running this entire seller rider users application okay who manage all the things so admin okay this is our first admin now let's say some of you may want to add more admins okay so you can do that as well for example here click on add user and let's say the second admin name is uh, Parker okay Parker at the rat food app dot com okay so let's say this is our second admin okay I mean which we are adding here of course you can add more than two admits okay just I'm showing you guys how you can add further admins and we will simply add here the password for that admin okay so let's add that so it is our second one which is Parker at the rate food app dot com okay so how we can add this well just come here and inside the admins collection just click here on this add document okay how we can add the second admin and then come here and for the second admin we have to copy the UID of that admin 
by simply clicking here and then we have to paste that UID here and we have to provide the email for the second admin so the second admin email is parker at the red gmail.com okay and then of course the name of that second admin which is Parker okay and then click on save so this is our second uh, admin this is our first admin so on I mean you can add further new admins if you want okay from here by simply clicking on this add user and then of course we will add the uh, data of that specific admin to the admins collection as well now remember as I told you guys we can create a sign up for this as well but that is not a good idea because the reason is you know I mean th these are the admins who is basically the company owners or let's say the people who the company hire to keep an eye on all the uh, data that is what is going on in the entire apps that is rider app and the user app and the seller app okay all these things so these admins have access to the firebase console as well because these are the trusty people that is the trustworthy people who is the company hire to keep an eye on the entire process on the entire database on the entire server okay so that's why I mean we just add these manually here okay so that let's say if any uh, person get access to the web portal any outsider get access to the website or to the web portal then they cannot register yourself in the admin okay I mean to take control of our entire uh, business model our entire business okay because uh, we, we will have only the that's why we have only designed the login screen okay and we will add checks that only these admins who are registered in our database that is in our server only these admins will be allowed only if they provide the correct email and correct password okay and no other outsider will be allowed okay I mean they will not even be allowed to sign up by their own because it is the admin okay the company owner will register any new admin from here by simply coming here to the uh, database or let's say to the server by putting the uh, authentication okay the email and password and the record inside the admins collection by providing their UID so I hope you understand the whole idea